Hi, YouTubers, it's Tanya. I'm back again. And guess what? I'm making overnight oats. For you guys that are new to my channel, please subscribe. Hit that like button, please. And also comment below. Um, I'm making overnight oats. I haven't made any uh, in, a, in a little bit, and I want to make some now. So I got them started, and I used my whey um, to make my to make my oats. Um, and then I'd use uh, a little bit of my kefir milk. Um, but here, let's go ahead and get started. What I do is I take my whey, I take about uh, three tablespoons of, of the uh, oats. So I'll put one more in here so you guys can see. And I'm gonna make more, so that's another tablespoon. And I use, you can get any type of brand you want. I mean, it's up to you what type of, um, what type you get. And this is 100% whole grain oats, all right? So get whatever brand you want to get. Any any kind of will work. Okay, and then I add whey. Make use of your whey. Do not throw it away. Make use of it. So I let it kind of saturate a little bit in, in my whey, the oats. Not too much, just enough. But if it comes like it's too much, because it's going to sit overnight, so it's going to all get in there. So let's put another one in there. Okay, so that should be enough, because I think I'm going to make two different types. Okay, so let's get this going, guys. Because I am so excited. My daughter and I are going to have overnight oats tomorrow. I have some uh, chocolate morsels. You can use any type you want. You can have, They have peanut butter. They have uh, caramel. I, I like the chocolate better, okay? And I have some strawberries. And I have a few blueberries. So this is the, here. Here are my ingredients. Okay, um, oats, chocolate morsels, and some fruit. Okay, and I'm gonna be using some flex seed and chia seeds as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this ball rolling here. Let's go ahead and take some oats, and we're gonna go ahead and put some in our in our container, whatever you're gonna serve it out of. And I like to put mine in something pretty. So get your oats in there. Usually I use an ice cream scoop and get them all in there. So get your oats in there. About a half of, or a nice cup of oats will be perfect for a good meal. Okay, so we're gonna get those in here. Okay, so that's the oats and they're gonna sit overnight. And I'm just gonna take some of my chia seeds. I'm gonna keep them in a little container so they can stay fresh. So these are chia seeds. So I'm gonna sprinkle some of those on top, or you can mix them in there as well. So I'm just gonna kind of distribute them evenly right around in there, okay? I'm gonna put all those in there, okay? So you can kind of move that around, shake it around a little bit, and can get that going. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of my chocolate chip morsels. Okay, so let's put this up here so you can see me better. Okay, so about a nice, Tablespoon would do because we don't we don't want it you know we don't want uh, too sweet okay now I'm going to go ahead and put some yogurt so I usually use an ice cream scoop but I'm gonna go ahead and do it this way okay and then just kind of distribute it evenly around there let's get another scoop in here. And then we're gonna make it look pretty, guys. So th this is our breakfast in the morning. So let's glue it, get it all in there. Let's get it this way. Okay. All right. So this is what I did for for mine. And let's come up a little closer so you can see. I have the oats. I have some chocolate chip morsels in there, and I have some Greek yogurt, some kefir yogurt. Okay, you guys see that? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put some strawberries in here. And you can use fresh strawberries if you have them. You can use um, frozen strawberries. It's up to you what you want to put in your um, overnight oats. 
okay? And that's what I'm putting on mine, okay? So I have just a little bit of my oats left, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and top it off. And that's why I let it kind of sit in the way for a little bit, just so I can kind of soften up a little bit. So that's going on top of there. And then I'm going to top it off again with just a little bit more strawberries. Okay. And give me one second here. Now I'm going to go ahead and just kind of smash down just a little bit to get all that incorporated. And then we're going to go ahead and top it off with just a little bit of our kefir milk. Okay, and all that's going to saturate overnight. Okay, so just pour, this is just like a shot of kefir milk. Okay, and this is overnight oats for tomorrow morning's breakfast. So almost about a cup of, about a cup of, uh, of oats. So I'm going to just top this with some saran wrap and then I'm going to be done with that one. So this one here is going to sit here and we're going to do one more real quick. Let's do one more. Okay, give me a second. Okay, guys, I'm, I, I'm going to do another um, oats. Okay, this one's going to be for Africa. This is Africa's one. Okay, so I did my, um, I got my oats in here. I got some whey. Okay, we poured the whey in there. So it's pretty much covered in whey. Okay, so again, a little bit of yogurt. Okay, the yogurt's going down here on this one first. It's not going to be a lot. Just enough to get, get it going. And I'm always throwing the flex seed in there, guys. Okay, so the flex seed is, is, a, is a must. So flex seed, chia seeds, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and pour the, uh, the oats over this. Oh, let me, forgot. That's some kefir. So we're going to go ahead and put some of that on top of our yogurt, our chia seeds, and all that's going to saturate in there. So in the morning, it's, it's going to be good and ready to go. Now you can heat this up if you like. It's up to you how you do it. You can heat it up. I, do, I just eat it just like this in the morning. Okay, so let's get everything in there. And blueberries is what we're going to top this baby with. Okay. Okay, so then I'm going to top this off with blueberries. And I got a few strawberries left in there, but we'll probably just eat them. Okay. So this is a one, this is just a real quick one, and um, there's yogurt in here, and there's also, um, there's yogurt at the bottom, some chia seeds, and some flex seed, then I put the uh, oatmeal on top of that, and then blueberries. So you can fix it any way you like, uh, so let it sit overnight, and in the morning you can enjoy your, 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 um, your overnight oats. They're very, very delicious. So um, this one here is, this is mine, but... You usually want to let the yogurt get all the way down, the keeper get all the way down to the bottom. But I'm going to just take a bit out of here just so I can taste it because I'm always trying to, I'm always tasting everything. But here we go. Mm-hmm. And that's my overnight oats. And in the morning, I'm going to really enjoy it because it's going to be pretty all settled and all saturated in there. And it's going to be delicious. So go ahead and get your fiber. Get all your good benefits out of the yogurt, out of your whey, your, the protein, your vitamins, your minerals. 
your enzymes out of your overnight oats. And I just want to thank you guys for joining me today again. And happy kefirin and happy overnight oats. And have a good night.